And a Chestfield family says they're grateful no one was hurt after a tree fell onto their home. Our Leland Pinder has more on what the family and a neighbor says happened leading up to the storms. Leland? Well, Bill and Candace, uh, the family tells me tonight they are very grateful they're all alive and unharmed, and they're particularly glad their young grandchild was not home at the time. It, the wind whipped, whipped up real quick. Strong storms Wednesday. Boom, 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 boom. You know, just, I could tell it was hell. Leave behind a mess at this home on Swan Drive in Chesterfield County. I saw that tree snap and just whack that house. Jeff Lupakis. It was quick. It was down in a matter of seconds. Is glad his neighbors are okay. Thank goodness nobody was hurt. It's Bill Singleton and his wife, Carol, who live next door. It hasn't sunk in yet. Carol taking an urgent phone call from her husband at work. Honey, there's a tree in our living room. I screamed. I said, I got to go. I came home, and this is what I saw. Carol had left for work not long before the storm hit. Her daughter and grandchild had also just been there. Bill was in the back bedroom away from the living room where the tree came crashing in. You never know. You never know when something like this could happen, you know, and uh, it makes you appreciate your family even more. The Red Cross is providing the Singletons with blankets and temporary housing. The couple says their daughter has offered her home as well because they'll certainly be out of this one for a while. Life, things happen. We just have to go with the punches and keep moving. I hate to see it. I hate to wish that on anybody. And the Singletons say in previous storms, branches from that big tree have fallen on the property, but they were never expecting what happened today, the entire tree coming down, crashing on their home.